first of all, Liam, congratulations on winning the award. Thanks. How pleased are you? Uh, very happy, obviously. It's uh, nice to be recognised for, obviously, individual performances, but we've also got three wins this month, uh, well, in November, so it's ideal, really. What do you think went so well for you in November? Um, just more belief, more confidence in my, in my game. Um, obviously, I've started a few games, and that's like, just building on that, really. What do you think's helped you gain in belief and confidence in yourself? Uh, obviously, if you come on and play well, that's a massive help really, that's that's what it's about, just um, like building on performances and just trying to get better and better each week, improving all the time, so yeah, it's been good. We'll just go right back to the start now, so when did you first come to Doncaster? Um, at the, like, the end of like year 11, so like when I was 16, uh, at the very end I like, I wasn't I wasn't really planning on being a footballer really, it was a last minute thing and yeah, just got picked up and I came on trial and luckily got in. So who were you playing with before you came to Doncaster and, and what were you thinking of doing rather than being a footballer? Uh, just a Sunday league team, leaving um, back home in, like, in Middlesbrough, well yeah, and uh, I was actually wanting to be like a lawyer or something like that or an investment banker, so yeah, <laughs> I did alright in school so like I was trying to go down that route really. It's a big change isn't it from yeah. wanting to be a lawyer and an investment banker. When did you first realise that you could actually make a career from being a footballer? Well obviously when you get your uh, scholarship like you learn it from day one it was it was like nothing I've ever experienced before my first day like I'm training every day as well like, first week I couldn't feel my legs or anything like that so yeah, it was just a big transition and obviously when you start doing well you start getting more belief and that's where it can come really. So, last season, about this time last season, went along to Whitby, didn't you? What yeah. was that experience like being somewhere that's, you know, it's quite a real experience of football, I would suppose? Um, don't get me wrong, it was a good club, but it's, I didn't really have the best personal experience there. I only played uh, one game or something, like one or two games. And, and I didn't really get, the manager got sacked as well after, so it, was, it just wasn't ideal, really. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, it's that brought me down back to reality a bit. Um, maybe I wasn't doing things as professional as I should. And uh, yeah, definitely, I, I really kicked on from that moment, I think. Made me realise. So, obviously coming back here and working under Darren, what's, what's Darren brought to your game? Um, he's just helped me improve in all aspects, really. He's a, he's a great coach, knows, knows a lot about the game and everything. So just all round, I've improved. Under him, I think, yeah, definitely. So obviously, I had a fantastic month in November. What are your personal goals for the rest of the season there? Obviously, the main ones: promotion with the team. That's that's what everyone wants, um, uh, what everyone expects, really. Um, personally, I'd like to obviously just grab as many goals as I can. Uh, just see where it takes me, really, and start. Well, obviously, start more, like start every game, like getting the team. I think I've uh, put myself in a good position to, like, as a by the member of the first team, like first 11, so I'll just carry that on really. What did it mean to you to get promotion this season? Because obviously you got into the team at the back end of last season, I was really disappointed to get relegated, so what would it mean to get straight back up? Oh, I mean everything, that's that's all we want, that's the main goal. Um, it's where the club needs to be, a club like Doncaster, it should, shouldn't be in League 2, so yeah, that's I mean everything really.